some components need to synchronize with external systems. For an example, you might wish to establish a server connection or maybe you want to send some analytic logs when a component appears on the screen or you may want to control a known React component based on the state of React component. So effects enable you to execute some code after rendering so that you can synchronize your component with a system outside of React. And this can be done in React using a built-in hook called use effect. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Nisha Singla and in this video, we are going to learn about use effect hook. Now, before directly starting with use effect hook, let's understand few basic concepts. The main role of React component is to render UI and respond to certain events and to re-render the UI whenever it's needed. And that's what we have learned so far. We have learned how to create a component, then how to change the state of a component using use state hook, and then how to update the state with the help of some events, right? So event handlers may be containing some side effect. Like for an example, I'm making a HTTP call. So clicking on a button and doing a HTTP call is a side effect. Now you must be thinking what is side effect, right? Side effect can be anything that might be happening inside your application, which is not related to UI rendering. For an example, making a HTTP request to a server. When we send a HTTP request to a server, we are not rendering anything on the UI, right? We will display it on UI when we'll get the response. But during HTTP call, nothing will be happen on the UI. Another example could be like we may store something on browser storage. That is also something a side effect or you are using some intervals or doing some DOM manipulation. These all are the example of side effects. And you must have heard that React assumes that your component should be pure. Pure components means that it should without any side effects. Now, what is pure functions? What is impure function? What is side effect? These things you can understand in my this video. I will provide the link in the description in detail. So we should try to create the component as a pure component without any side effect. And if to implement side effect, we should not do it like straightforward the way do we handle our normal functions. Now just try to understand, suppose we have this app component and here I'm making a function call like uh, get data, okay? And this function will, might do HTTP call, fine? Now you will say like I can execute this function on a button click, right? If I have a button, on click of this button, I can execute my this function. Perfectly fine. And this function is having HTTP call, so it is a side effect, right? So you can execute your side effect on the button click as well. But sometimes this is not enough. Sometimes we don't want to execute our logic or our side effect with the help of some event like this. Click or maybe submit, right? Sometimes we want that it should execute my side effect or execute this logic as soon as my component mounted, as soon as it rendered on the DOM. So in these cases, these kind of events will not be sufficient. Now let's take one example and just to try to understand where effects can be useful. Suppose we have one function, maybe get users, and this function might do HTTP call. Now to execute this function, what we will do? This side effect you can execute on this button click. I said whenever I click on this button, I will attach this function on this click event. Fine, it is pretty fine. But sometimes it is not enough. Sometimes we don't want to execute my side effect on this button click. Sometime I want uh, get the data from the server or do this HTTP call as soon as my component appears on the UI, as soon as my component rendered on the UI, as soon as my component mounted on the DOM. So in these kind of scenarios, these kind of event handlers are not sufficient. We need something more than that who can execute themselves. So effects let you specify the side effect that are caused by rendering itself rather than by a particular event. So I can execute this function automatically as soon as my component render with the help of use effect hook. So to handle this kind of scenarios, we have one built-in hook that is called use effect hook. So use effect hook is simply one of the built-in hook available in React or you can say it is a function that is not used for rendering things on screen. Instead, it is used to perform side effects like backend call or DOM manipulation or uh, implementing some third party plugins. So that will not execute every time when the state variable change. So now let's implement use effect hook with a very simple implementation so that you understand how to implement side effect and how use effect can be pretty useful. So we have this app component, right? And we can get it from this one as well. 
So let's implement one state here. I will use this use state hook, which we have already learned in the previous classes. And this will hold a very simple logic. I will have one counter code here. So that will have a counter and set counter. And I will say use state, which has initial state of zero. So if you want, you can display it on a screen as well. I can get it from this one and we can say counter counter. Now let's have a button that will update or change my state. So I'll say plus here and on click of this button, I want to update my state with the help of this set counter method. So when I click on this button, you will notice my state is updating. So now let's create one more component user.js that will be a child component for this app. And here I can simply create one functional component that will not do much as of now. So I can simply just display a message user component. Let's export that function and let's do the import so that I can use this component inside my app component. Now we can call this component from here. Now the main point here is whenever my state, my component state change, it re-render my component and its underlying components as well. So let's do some console.log here in the child component and see whether rendering is happening or not. Okay, as you can see, I haven't passed any state from here, but as it is a child component, this, this app component and app component has some logic of state change. So you can see here for the first time it will display re-rendering and when I click on this button, which will change the state of my app component, which will re-render my child component as well. It is re-rendering two times because we know of strict mode. So if you don't want to get confused with that, you can remove the strict mode as of now. So you can see here, it will display only one. So as soon as I click on this button, every state change of my app component will also re-render my user comp. So now you can see this console.log is also a part of side defect. And for every state change, whenever my component will render, this side effect will also execute. So I want to control this. I don't want to execute it on every state change. So this kind of behavior you cannot control with button click or some with another events. So let's see how to use use effect hook to implement this side effect. So use effect hook is also a part of react and you need to import it like the way we have imported other hooks. Now to implement use effect hook, you just need to mention use effect and it takes one callback function. And within this callback function, you supposed to write your logic, which is a part of your side effect. Okay. So as of now, also you will not see major difference for every state change. This will execute. Now, of course, we don't want to handle it this way, right? We want to control its behavior. Maybe I want that whenever there is a change in the state, only then this logic should execute or maybe I want only during first mounting this logic should execute. So to control this behavior, use effect hook takes a, another argument here as a dependency. If you don't pass this second argument, it means you are executing your use effect hook without any dependency. So in that case, it will execute on every render and that is not the use of use effect hook. You should pass your dependency so that you can decide in which situation you want to execute your side effect. If you have worked with class based component, you must have heard about lifecycle method. Lifecycle method means every component go through with some phases like mounting phase, updating phase and unmounting phase. Mounting phase means when your component render on the DOM and whenever there is any state change, it comes into the updating stage. And as soon as your component removed from the DOM, it comes into the unmounting phase, right? So to handle these different phases in class based components, we had lifecycle methods like component did mount for mounting, component did update for updating and component will unmount for unmounting. These three lifecycle methods we can handle with the help of use effect hook. Use effect hook is used to implement these lifecycle methods in functional components because in functional components, we don't have lifecycle methods, right? So to implement those lifecycle methods in functional components also we use use effect hook that you can implement by passing second argument to use effect method. So use effect method now can be called 
in three ways if you want to handle something during only for the first time that is mounting or you want to update on every state change that is component did update or you want to do some cleanup kind of things that you can do in the unmounting so now let's see how to implement this phase that is mounting phase or how to implement component did mount method in functional component so if you want that your use effect should execute only during the first rendering when your component mounted on the DOM okay during only for the first time and it is very useful when you want to set up some connections maybe you are making HTTP call so you want to open a connection so in that scenario you can use this hook so in that case if you want to execute that you just need to pass a second argument as empty array so when you pass a empty array as a dependency it means it will execute only during mounting phase only during for the first time and my component just render on the DOM so you can see for the first time it rendered and when I click on that you can see my state is updating but it will not execute the logic written in re-rendering but if you put some console.log outside you will notice my component is re-rendering but my logic or my side defect will not execute every time so let's see for the first time when my component render it comes to that mounting phase right it mounted on the dome so it execute this line and it will execute this one but when I click on this plus button it will update my state and state change means uh, re-render my component so user component will also re-render again but as my use effect hook has a dependency as, as empty and empty means mounting phase execute only once so when I click on this button you can see this statement is executing that number of time that number of time my component is re-rendering but my this this logic will not re -rend. now let's talk about updating phase updating phase means whenever there is a change in prop or state or you forcefully update the state in that case your component re-render so sometimes your component have so many state you don't want that your particular uh, side defect should run for every re-render but yes I want to control its execution whenever there is a change in the particular state for example I have this uh, state that is called my counter state and I want for every counter I have to run my side effect so in that case you can pass your dependency like for which state you want to re-render your component so I have passed my counter state here and I will hold it here so if you run now you can see re-rendering 0 but when I click on that my state is updating but here the state value is not updating because I have passed empty array so I want whenever there is a change in the value of my this counter state that time also re-evaluate my use effect during first rendering and for every time whenever there is a change in the counter state and other than that don't execute it again so if you check it again for the first time it will run when my state is zero whenever I will change the state my component re-render but it will also re-execute my side effect so this is the second way through which you can control how you want to execute your side effect or use effect hook that whenever you pass any dependency in the here in this array it could be your state it could be your prop so in this case your use effect will run during first rendering and every time there is a change in the value of your state and prop that you have passed as dependency so these two phase we have done right component did mount and component did update and the last one is unmounting as the name suggests Mounting means when your component added on the DOM but once you are done with your component it will removed from the DOM so in that case unmounting will happen so during unmounting phase when your component will removed from the DOM at that time if you want to handle some logic that will be a part of component will unmount so that is in the class component right but how you will implement component will unmount hook in the functional component so in that case your use effect hook 
take one callback function within this callback that will execute for unmounting phase and this is really a very good place where you can control your connection suppose you have opened a connection in the use effect to make a http call of course that connection you have to close so that you should do in the unmounting phase so how you will handle that in that case once you you have done the logic of your side effect at the end you need to return one function from here that will basically execute the logic that you want to handle during unmounting so i just want to unmount this one just let's check this one first so you can see here it is outside use effect you can remove this one now and see it will render my component right when i click on that button again it will remount re-render my component right so in that case before rendering your component again it will first do the cleanup thing that you have done in the unmounting when you do second time your component rendered with one but when i hit my counter button for the third time it will first clear whatever you want to do for this counter variable that has a value one so it will unmount first for your one and then you render your component for the next state so this place is very very important for the cleanup thing if you have some intervals set intervals you need to clear it here if you have attached some event don't forget to remove those event handlers in the cleanup and same for database connection okay for an example let's take one more example here i have one more file and here i am doing some connections like maybe db connection dot js So it, it's not a React component, just a normal JavaScript, right? I'm creating one function here, db connection, that will return one object that will have two methods. One is the connect method, and the another one is disconnect method. So whatever I'm doing here, I might want to do here. So in the connect method, ideally you will create a connection with your database. And of course, when you have opened a connection with your database, you need to close that. Let me export that. Let's export this function. So here I'll say db connection from this file. And what I'll do, I'll create a connection here as it is a method and this connect object here what I can do here now instead of this I can say only during first rendering on this use effect set up a connection and call this connect method and whenever this component will unmount in that case close the connection that is the disconnect method so let's run this one and check so now you can see here for the first time when my component will render, it will show me that uh, DB connection open. So this is the right time where I can do my HTTP call and do whatever I want to handle it. Now, as soon as this component will remove from the DOM, how we can do that? Let's put some condition here that this component should render only when my counter is less than five. After that, this component will unmount. It should be less than five, okay? So now during first time it will open the db connection and till the time I have less than 5 this counter variable you will notice 1, 2, 3, 4 and now my component will remove from the DOM. You can see it will execute whatever is done inside this callback. So this is basically to clean up. So this is really important for performance if you have a connection and you will not close it unnecessary connection will be open. So it will consume your resources and impact the performance of your application. So you should consider this thing that we should make a habit to close all those things and to clean up the things in this callback function and it should become at the bottom. So I hope the concept of use effect hook is clear that this hook is very important if you want to implement any side effect in the component and when you keep your components pure, it is really testable and very predictable. So that's why all the side effects should be kept separate in effects wherever it's possible. And it's very important when you want to execute this use effect during initial rendering, every state change or how to do the cleanup, these parameters are very important. In the next video, we will try to implement more practical example of use effect because this session I try to cover the concept of use effect hook 
and in the next video we'll see more practical implementation till then keep learning thank you